Hi everyone, today I'll be going over my cube collection for 2020. My only 1x1, one one, which is made of a cheese sale corner. I have 5 2x2s. Two the first one, which is my first ever Rubik's Cube, is a Rubik's 2x2, two two, turns pretty badly. I have a Cyclone Boys 2x2, two two, my first ever 2x2 two two speed cube. And we have the Waypo, which was my main for quite a while. We've got the Vault 2 with MGC Springs, which is my current main. And a white Chengsha 2x2. Pretty smooth, but pretty catchy. Here are my 3x3s. So this is my first ever 3x3, just a store bought one from the works. Turns pretty badly, but it's okay for my first cube. Then we have the Chi Sail, which was part of my Siamese cube, and was also my first speed cube. Then we have the second half of my Siamese cube, which is a Shen Shao Legend. For another Shen Shao Legend, which isn't broken. A MF3RS3, which I got my first sub single on, and I kind of used my main on and off for a little bit. The MF3RS2M, which I magnetised myself, and is the only cube I've ever done that to. This is also my main for quite a while. I have the GTS2M, which I put m 3 s 2 springs in a while ago, and it was my main, but I've since took them out, and it isn't my main anymore. But it's pretty good for one-handed. The YJMGC, which was my main for quite a while, as you can see by the state of the stickers. I really, really like this cube. We've got the Aulong V2, which is one of my first speed cubes. I used this for a little bit as my main before I got the M3 or S2. It's not bad. And put this random double cube in stickers. Turns pretty well. And we've got the Moyu Weilong WRM, which was my main for quite a while. Very nice cube. Here we have the Dian Tengyun M, which is my current main. I really, really like this cube. Here we have the Gan 354, which I use this main main for a bit as well. Here we have a Weilong V2, which I've tried to learn blind on. Hence the uh, pen marks all over it. Here we have a, another 3x3 which is still bought exactly the same as this one, but I drew on this one to try and run blind on. I haven't got around to learning blind yet. I probably should do that sometime. Here we have a Lego 3x3 I bought. Turns pretty smoothly, but doesn't corner cut very well. And is kind of weird to use, hurts your hands after a while. Interesting cube. We've got a picture cube with my name on, which is also very smooth. And there's a Yushin Pillow 3x3, which is quite a fun cube. And lastly, we have a Mini 3x3. Here we have my 4x4s. My first 4x4 was this Qian 4x4, which exploded and broke. Here we have the Thunderclap Mini, which I bought after that. It's quite a good cube. Not bad for the price, but it catches it. Here we have a Chi Which Way, which I used for my own as a while. Quite a nice cube, but again, catches a little bit. Not as much as the Thunderclap Mini, though. And here we have the Yasu Beach my current port before main. Really nice cube, nothing really wrong with it at all. I have three 555s. My first one was the Cyclone Boys 555. It's not very good at all. And we've got the Chi Zeng, which is much, much better for the price. I used this as my main for quite a while. And the Wush M, which is my current main, and it's a really nice 555. My only 7x7, the Mei Long. My only Mega Minx, the Yushin V2. Not too bad for the price. And my only clock, the Lingao. I have two Pyraminxes, the Moyu Pyraminx and the Yulong V2, which is much better. I have four square ones. My first ever one was the Function square one, which is just a rip-off G. I got a bit of super glue in the core, so it doesn't turn very well now. 
My second square one was the Chifa. I used this for a little bit. It's quite a good cube for the price, but I don't think it's as good as the Little Magic, which is around the same price point. And I used this for my own for a while, and I still really, really like it. It's a great cube, nice and controllable, decent corner cutting, and is yeah only ten pounds. It's a great cube. And my current main, the Volt V2M. A very nice cube. Moving on to my skews, my first one was this Moyu, which I Florian modded. So the corner cutting is slightly better. You can see the holes are slightly bigger there. Here we have a X1 Wii skew where the corner broke off it. I used it as my own for quite a while before the corner broke. And we have another X1 Wii, which I used as my main for a little bit. It's an okay cube. And here we have the Aoyan, which is my current main. Moving on to my non WCA puzzles, we have a Gear 3x3 and a Gear Shift, which can split apart and turn, which is kind of cool. I've got three random snake cubes. I have two twisted 3x3s. For my cuboids, I have two 2x2x3s. These are both quite nice. And I also have this 3x3x2, which is quite a good cube as well, very smooth. For my mirror puzzles, I have a mirror blocks 3x3, a 2x2 mirror blocks. My Siamese mirror cube, which is two mirror cubes joined together. I have a video on that, which I'll link here. And I also have two one little mirror cubes. I have Master Morphics, which I have no idea how to solve. For my shape mods, I have a Fisher cube, a column cube, a Ivy cube, which is quite cool. I have a Penrose cube, and I have a Windmill cube, but a Ready cube, which I really like to solve, it's quite a fun puzzle. I have a Killer Inx, which is quite a nice cube, fairly fun to speed solve as well, but it catches a little bit. I have a 3x3, three three, which is contained inside a 2x2, two two. quite an interesting puzzle, but it just solves as normal. And last and certainly least, I have a Sudoku cube, which I have no clue how to solve, and it turns pretty horribly.